Today, I am going to talk about an interesting study technique called as Feynman technique. This technique was devised by a renowned scientist and Nobel Prize winning physicist Richard Feynman. This technique is all about learning or reviewing a concept quickly by explaining it in plain simple language. Have you ever noticed that when great scientists or professors give speeches, most of them use highly technical words which is hard for laymen like us to understand. But Feynman is an exception. He uses simple language and explains even complicated concepts in an easy to understand way. My name is Arvind and I am here to help you learn faster. If you are interested in learning how to learn, then consider subscribing this channel and click the bell notification. According to this technique, the first step is to select a subject or a topic which you feel is hard for you. This can be any subject. It can be physics, chemistry or any other subject that you wish to learn but find it extremely difficult. The second step is to write all that you know about that particular subject or topic. The key point here is that you should take care to use the simplest language you can ever imagine. Describe the topic in an easy to understand language and don't fall into the temptation of using highly technical jargons. Your explanation should be in such a way that you are teaching a small child. Why am I saying like this? That is because when we are communicating with children, we naturally use simple words to explain things and we understand that it is useless to use scientific language to them. Moreover, Children have such a short attention span that they cannot hold their attention on anything for more than few minutes. So you have a very limited time within which you should convey what you intend to tell them and make them understand. So while writing about the topic use simple and easy to understand language. If your mind cannot come up with a simple language become a little more creative and you will definitely get it. The third step is to check your written explanation for any omissions or any gaps. Yes, your explanation may not cover all the points in your first attempt itself. Take a note of all those points which got left out or found difficult in expressing. Go through your textbook or the source material once more. Read it till you get those particular concepts clear in your mind. This way you can fill the knowledge gaps wherever they are. More importantly, by now you would have become thorough in this topic. The fourth and final step. Now that all the concepts are clear in your mind and it has become simpler, try making a story out of it to make it more interesting and easy to remember. Recite this story loudly as if you are teaching to a class of small children. It should be in such a way that even those who have not studied anything on this topic are able to understand it easily. So far we have seen the four steps of this technique. We will now see how to use this method for learning a difficult concept and let me explain this with an example. Imagine that our topic of study is dark matter. Let us start with the definition. Dark matter is defined as the unseen matter that may make up more than 90% of the universe. As the name says, dark matter does not interact with light or other electromagnetic radiation. So it cannot be seen directly, but it can be detected by measuring its gravitational effects. How can we make a story out of this topic? Well, imagine a dimly lit room in which two people are dancing. A man dressed in black is dancing with a lady in a white dress. We all know that the dark matter cannot be seen. In this example, the dark matter is like the man in a black dress. We cannot see the man, but we can see the bright matter which is the woman in the white dress. Though we cannot see the man in black, we know that he is there because we are able to see the woman in white moving around in harmony and is in perfect balance with him. Now go back to the definition of the dark matter and read it again. You will now see a clear connection between the story and the definition. Your understanding of the topic is perfect 
and this will remain in your memory for a very long time. When you simplify each topic like this and study, it becomes easy for you to understand any topic, however hard it may seem. If you think this video is helpful, then comment, like, share with your friends and consider subscribing this channel. See you next week with my another video.